Brothers and sisters, let us all receive today's word that the Lord is giving us. It is from 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 2 and 3. He said, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my Savior, you save me from violence. Hallelujah. Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my rock in whom I take refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation. My stronghold and my refuge. My Savior, you save me from violence. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, this word of God today speaks about uh, David. It's a song of David where David uh, sings this song after he was delivered from the hands of all his enemies. Uh, uh, when he was delivered even from Saul, he sang the song to the Lord. He said, you know, my God, the Lord is my rock. Hallelujah. The Lord is my rock and my fortress. He declared that the Lord to be his rock. That is a, a unshakable foundation, a place of stability in times of trouble. Many a times when we go through different challenges and different circumstances, whatever we rely on doesn't stand with us maybe the kind of people or maybe the support system whatever when we rely on these things many a times you find that it is uh, you know wavery you find that you know people don't stand by you find that you know um, whatever you relied on really doesn't support you your david has made god his rock he has made God his fortress and he declares God to be his deliverer, his rock, hallelujah, a rock in whom he takes refuge, hallelujah, praise the Lord. So uh, we should have this, um, you know, we should make God our rock, you know, make him the foundation, the unshakable foundation. He is the uh, solid support or he is the solid place of stability in times of trouble so then relying on a situation or support or whatever around us we have to make the lord himself our rock and rely on him hallelujah he is you know david made god his um, a refuge he said i take refuge in the lord so we should also you know be ab able to have that fellowship with the lord the connection with the lord the faith and trust the lord where we can make god a place of safety for us you know some where we can turn to for protection for peace for guidance hallelujah it is not about you know god being this it's about god being this to you so it is about how much you allow the lord to be this in your life how much you allow him to be your deliverer how much you allow him to be your source of strength how much you allow him to be your protector how much you allow him to be your provider how much you allow him to be your restorer god is all this but is it is he all this for you are you seeing these graces of God or faces of God in your life. If you are not seeing it, it means that you have not made him that. You have not allowed him to be that in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All those who trusted in the Lord will, you know, were never put to shame and they will never be put to shame. Hallelujah. The Lord is a healer. He is a restorer. He, he is our Lord. He is a savior. He is a redeemer. He is a, 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 the life giver. He is a miracle worker. This is who our God is. And our God is the same yesterday, today and forever. But question is, is he that to you? Have you allowed him to be that in your life? Today, as we meditate on this word, let us see the connection and the fellowship that David had with the Lord. 
how he made. That's why he said, you know, the Lord is my rock. He is my fortress. He is my deliverer. Hallelujah. So God is the deliverer. He is the fortress. He is the provider. He is the protector that God is. But is he for you? Have you made him that where you can say God is my provider. God is my restorer. He is my healer. Hallelujah. So this really speaks to us about the fellowship that we have to build in the Lord. It is not for who God is that you will receive whatever. It is for who God is for you that you will be able to see these blessings or these grace or these power uh, being manifested in your life. Hallelujah. So let us all uh, receive this word. Uh, God delivers us. He delivers us from our enemies, not just one enemy, not just enemy that comes against us for one time, but he delivers us from all the enemies, from all the powers, from all kind of <coughs> violence. Hallelujah. So <coughs> let us pray and let us receive this word. Let us declare, let us uh, understand that there is a call, a call for each and every one of us to fellowship with the Lord and to go in deeper dimensions with the Lord. This is the season. This is the time. So let us make every effort to connect to the Lord. Let us make every effort to make him our savior, a restorer, a fortress, a deliverer, a God, a rock, a refuge, a shield, a stronghold. As we meditate on this word, give us the grace like David, Lord. Give us the grace that we may make you our refuge. Lord, you are the life giver. You are the protector. You are our savior. You are the deliverer, Lord. Lord, help us, Master, that we may align our lives to you. We may align our minds to you. We may align our hearts to you. cobra, That we may do everything that is needed to align ourselves to with you, Lord. Align ourselves to your plans and to your purpose for us, Master. Give us the grace. Give us the grace, Lord, that these words will not just be a word, but it will be a prayer from our heart, Lord. Give us the grace that we may trust in you and hold on to you, Lord. That we will experience you to be all this in our life personally, Lord. Help us, Lord, that we may develop that personal fellowship personal relationship with you, Lord. Give me the grace, Lord, that I may do the right sacrifice, that I may be able to give up on anything that blocks or hinders my prayer altar. I prioritize you. I prioritize my fellowship with you more than anything, more than any desire, more than any pleasure. Zahada. Give me your grace this morning, Lord. I gandhi ni gos la kreite ne me so. I da prada basse tere konash la marte ne so hoda. So many things came against David, but he was able to stand firm because his connection with the Lord was strong. Hallelujah. That is why he was able to overcome all the enemies. That is why he was victorious. That is why anything that rised up against him was destroyed utterly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Rokto somatira beshlahar. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge. Iga tere basonda is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge. I brade soto, my savior, you save me from violence. I trabe sonda de me corbeli prandano hobalaha.
in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare, I have made the Lord my refuge. I have made the Lord my fortress. I have made God my unshakable foundation. He is my solid rock. No matter what be the storm, no matter what be the challenges, no matter what be the things that is coming against me, I hold on to the Lord. And I declare, I've made God my strong foundation therefore i shall not be shaken kem prate sotoro komani kali kabandere betara santela brihid no matter what be the storms or challenges or circumstances uh, i rely on the lord and my god is my unshakable foundation he is my unshakable foundation e krade soto therefore no matter what be the storm i will not be shaken i will not be moved uh, e I take refuge in the Lord for he is my place of safety. He is my refuge. He is my fortress. My God is my shelter. My God preserves me. He protects me. I do not choose to rely on my own strength. I choose to make the Lord my refuge. I have made the Lord my refuge. I have made the Lord my fortress. In Krosi is he is my place of safety therefore I will be protected I will be protected and guarded from all kinds of harms and danger in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is my shield he protects me from every attacks and every danger from every plans and schemes of the enemy from every violence he protects me my God is my protector I have made God my protector therefore I am protected I am protected from all kinds of attacks of the enemy I am protected from all kinds of dangers I am protected from all kinds of destruction I am protected whatever be the plans or schemes of the enemy I am protected by it in the name of Jesus Christ I am protected from it in Jesus mighty name I declare it my God is my strength in times of need. He is the horn of my salvation. He is my savior. He is the horn of my salvation. He is the source of my strength and power. He is the horn of my salvation. Horn, the source of my strength, the source of my power. I declare it in Jesus. Jesus mighty name il batrabo sondale krimadri asande i am connected to the lord i am rooted to the, rooted in christ i am protected i have made christ my savior therefore i am protected he is my savior i am guarded i am protected and preserved i declare it in jesus mighty name ti martele posna sondala brihida i am in the place of safety le caseto i find security in the stronghold of the Almighty. I'm in the place of safety and no enemy can reach me. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. I am in the place of safety. And no enemy can reach me. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Troska Basande Mazonda in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord rescues me from every threat. The Lord rescues me from every violence uh, and he protects and preserves my life. Therefore, I declare I will not fear. I will not fear for the Lord is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my strength. Uh, he is my defender. And therefore, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. I stand firm in the Lord. Uh, I declare the protection of the Almighty God surrounds me. And I am safe under the wings of the Lord. The protection of the Almighty God surrounds me. I declare it in Jesus' name. The protection of the Almighty God surrounds me. I declare the Lord is my refuge in times of trouble. Therefore, I have peace. I will not be troubled by my situation. I will not be troubled. I will not be troubled by whatever challenges that the enemy brings into my life. I will not be troubled by whatever circumstances or whatever be the things that I experience. Because the Lord is my oppressor. 
present help. He is my ever present help. He is my refuge. Therefore, I will not be troubled. My God will lift me up above every challenge that comes against me. My God will lift me up. My God will lift me up. No matter what be the challenges that rise up against me, my God will lift me up and he will lead me to victory. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Rotno Zotoro, the grace of the Lord is sufficient for me. Midanda Nikadere Bele Kabara. I declare that the hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. I declare the hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon my family. The hand of the Lord is upon my health. The hand of the Lord is upon my finances. The hand of the Lord is upon my children. The hand of the Lord is upon my marriage. The hand of the Lord is upon my ministry. The hand of the Lord is upon me. I declare it in Jesus' name. The hand of the Lord is upon me. I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord saves me from all the plots of the enemy. No matter what be the battle that I fight, no matter what be the battle that I'm experiencing, Experiencing, uh, my God will deliver me from every battle. My God will lead me to victory. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. I have made the Lord my refuge. I have made the Lord my fortress. I have made the Lord my rock. I have made the Lord my stronghold. Therefore, I will not be shaken. I will not be moved. I am preserved in the name of Jesus Christ. I experience the goodness of God. The I am protected, I am guided, I am guarded, I am restored, I am preserved, I am blessed beyond measure. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. My God is with me, therefore nothing can stand against me. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. I declare it, I declare it in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Gracious and loving Father, we praise and thank you for this wonderful time in your presence. We thank you, Lord, that you are living in us and you are moving among us. We praise and thank you, Father, for all your goodness and your mercy. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for you have established the prayer altars. You have given people the grace to establish their prayer altars today. We praise and thank you, Father. I pray may their fellowship with you always grow stronger and deeper in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your goodness and your mercy. May they experience your presence all the days of their life. May your guidance be upon them, Master Lord. I pray that your blessings will rest upon each and every one of them who have been part of today's SES. May your words, your promises manifest in their life. May they go from glory to glory.